Hello everyone, this is Goose from Goose42.com Bringing you your week 10 NFL picks We took last week off, took a bye week Gave some of the guys who are at the bottom Gave them a chance, giving them opportunity to come climb up to the top That's why we decided to let that one slide Here we go, game number one We're going to Atlanta versus Carolina We gave you guys Atlanta over San Francisco last week They played a nice game as well as you can play against San Francisco and still win. But we like Carolina to win at home. Go with Carolina. Game number two, Minnesota at Green Bay. Minnesota, impressive. The rookie running back, very impressive. Setting a single game rushing record. But I don't see that happening against Green Bay. Go with Green Bay at home. We got Denver at Kansas City. Denver just keeps getting worse by the week. Kansas City up and down team. This time, this week, we think they're going to be up. Go with KC at home. Buffalo at Miami. Miami still has the donut up there. They're aging very quickly. Go with Buffalo, the youthful energy of the Buffalo Bills to go in on the road and win this uh, game. We got St. Louis at New Orleans. New Orleans, we told you last week, is going to go on this little run. Start moving up towards the cream of the crop of the NFC. Look for New Orleans to uh, take care of business against St. Louis at home. We got Cleveland at Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh was very impressive on Monday night against a real, uh, we, what we think is a borderline good team. So we'll stick with Pittsburgh at home uh, on Sunday against Cleveland. We got Jacksonville at Tennessee. Jacksonville, I still don't know how they do some of these, some of the items that they're doing, but I, from what I understand, some of their, they're, they're starting to uh, uh, starting to have some injuries on their defensive side of the ball. So, and they're still up uh, question marks on their quarterback. I like Tennessee, Vince Young. All he does is put up W's. They still have a rushing game and that defense. Go with Tennessee at home. Philadelphia at Washington. Philadelphia is going to bounce back. Washington, I don't think they can do it at home. We got Cincinnati at Baltimore. Baltimore was embarrassed on Monday night, giving up 35 points in the first half. Ray Lewis was barking, talking, not taking responsibility. St. Louis is just circling the drain. I uh, I don't know what's going to happen with Marvin Lewis. This will most likely be his last year. Go with Baltimore at home. Detroit at Arizona. Arizona doesn't can't figure out what they're what the hell they're doing. They bring in talent and they still can't gel the pieces of the puzzle together. Look for Detroit to actually win this game on the road. Dallas at New at the New York Giants. Dallas played their best game of the year. Actually the best game in ten years for that organization. But I don't see them keeping that level up as, as well as they did on Sunday night. So look for New York Giants to take care of them on Sunday. We got Chicago at Oakland. Oakland needs to just bring in their rookie quarterback in. Even if it is going against the Chicago Bears defense, they got to bring him in by the second half. Most likely we won't be able to see this game. It won't be sold out. You never know. Bear fans may be coming out of nowhere. So look for Chicago to win this game on the road. We got Sunday night's game, which is Indianapolis at San Diego. San Diego were inspired, played inspired ball a couple weeks back due to the fires. But their defense was nowhere to be found last week against Minnesota. Indianapolis had a good game against New York at, against the New England Patriots. They should have won that game. They should have been converting those three points and the seven points that would have that would have uh, been decisive in that outcome instead of Brady throwing it up for grabs to Moss. So look for Indianapolis to win this game on the road. And finally, on Monday night, we got San Francisco at Seattle. Uh, quarterback for San Francisco Smith Alex Smith is is horrible he's a train wreck this guy he's he hasn't gotten it in three years so look for him to throw about three more interceptions and and Seattle will actually win this game those are your week 10 picks from goose42.com now take it to the bank <laughs>